Hi Pisces, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a very warm welcome if you are new here. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. It would really help me. So let's jump right into your reading and see what messages we've got for you today. So Pisces, please, what is it that they need to know for their highest good? Starting off with the Knight of Swords. The Nine of Wands. And the World Card. Lovely. Underneath the deck we have Justice. Okay, so let's see what's going on here for you guys. So the Knight of Swords, this is all about a lot of movement taking place. It's a lot of words being exchanged. It is fast back and forth communication. You need to respond to something quite quickly. Obviously, the Knight of Swords can be quite cutting with his words. So just be careful of that using sarcasm or anything like that. Someone might be communicating with you like that, but some form of Fast communication, fast movement in regards to communicating with someone and responding to messages. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior card. So some of you could have a physical wound that you are battling through, but others of you just may feel like you are emotionally wounded there. You've gone through a battle of some kind and being the nine you are almost there at the end of the battle so you really determined with the nine of wands to get through whatever this is in your life then we have the world card and this is beautiful because this is the successful completion of a big cycle in your life you are completing something some of you could be traveling the world literally and Others of you, as I say, it's just a completion of a cycle, but it's a successful completion of something. You're completing um, some form of study there. It could really be anything in your life. So we'll take clarifiers, but that's just an example. Then we have the justice card. So for some of you, you could be dealing with something legal, a legal case there. But for others of you, you're just balancing the scales. Things are being balanced out in your life and good karma is coming to you. So I really like that to start off the reading. Let's see what other information we can get for you. We have the Five of Wands. The Four of Cups. And the chariot. Wonderful. Underneath the deck, we've got the page of coins. Okay. So the knight of, uh, the, the five of wands with the knight of swords could mean that there is some form of argument, some form of petty argument taking place there. It looks like it's in the past, so it could have just happened for some of you. Um, so the five of wands is all about competition, perhaps in the workplace. But underneath the Knight of Swords, I am seeing some form of petty arguments going on there. So it could be in any situation. It could be in a work situation that you're struggling with a client. It could be with a friend. It could be with anyone there. But there's some form of struggle going on in communicating clearly with someone there. Then the Four of Cups is all about feeling a bit bored with life feeling a bit meh and perhaps wanting to just not socialize much, stay in your own corner. So perhaps this is from 
the wound that you've experienced here, you might be putting up a few defenses there um, because of what you've gone through here, perhaps. But then we have the chariot with the world card. So as I said, you're ending some form of big cycle in your life and you are moving on now with the chariot to a victory. You're heading in for a victory there. So I love that for the future or for the near future energies. This is another indication with the world card and the chariot that you could be traveling in the near future, some of you. Okay, so a lot of movement forward after you have completed the cycle. And as I say, it's been a successful cycle that you've completed in your life. And you're feeling so much more confident that you, than you did in these two cards. And you are ready to move forward at great speed towards your victory. Then we have the Ace of Wands coming out under that. So a beautiful card to, after this ending that's taken place, this successful completion with something. You are moving really fast into a brand new project. So this is a creative project that perhaps you are starting. It is that spark of inspiration that comes to you um, with regards to a project in your life. It could be anything that you're really passionate about. So you've ended a cycle. Now you are moving forward with great gusto to this new beginning of yours. You have got a lot of energy to put your ideas into action. And it's going to bring you some form of victory there. It's a brand new passionate idea that really lights the fire in you. Okay, so lovely there. Then we have the page of coins. So this is an offer coming into you uh, with regards to something material in your life. So it could be with regards to your finances, anything like that. A new job opportunity perhaps is coming to you or some form of opportunity in the material realm is being offered to you there. This is also a card of getting good news. So you're getting good news about something after all this sort of clashing going on and feeling a bit wounded by this, you are completing the cycle, moving forward um, and into this new beginning here. The scales are balancing in your favor. You're getting good karma here and some form of good news is coming in for you regarding your finances or your material world. So beautiful there. We've got the Emperor card coming out. So this could be someone that you are dealing with. Perhaps this is someone that you are having these petty arguments with or someone that you're in communication with. This could be a boss that you're dealing with. This could be a father figure that you're dealing with. But you could be having this sort of cutting communication and these petty arguments with somebody who is an emperor figure. This could be you as well, the boss of your own business, and you are dealing with this communication. You are bossing up and dealing with whatever needs to be dealt with here with regards to these conversations going on. Then we have the Ace of Swords. So another Ace coming out, really nice. So brand new beginnings coming in for you. As I say, you are really determined to get to your goal. Even though you are perhaps feeling a bit low in this card, the Ace of Swords is coming in again with brand new ideas. This conversation, it could indicate conversation as well. So this conversation that you had, you really are determined to get through it and you're going to be feeling really clear-headed about the new idea that you want to implement or how to deal with this conversation that's going on there. You might be cutting someone off. Um, otherwise, it's just brand new ideas coming in for you. You've got an epiphany here. And um, well, you've had an epiphany here. You're going to have an epiphany. And you're taking decisive action on that. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Coins. What a beautiful energy. Three Aces coming in for you. So there really are brand new Things, brand new beginnings coming in for you after the successful completion of something else in your life. And you're really moving forward to a victory here because the Ace of Coins 
is a brand new beginning in your finances. So perhaps someone's going to bring in some really good news for you regarding a new beginning with your finances. You've had this epiphany. It's really fired you up to want to put your ideas into action. And it's got something to do with your financial uh, stability in life. If you're starting a new job, perhaps, or something new in your career, some new project, it's really going to bring in a lot of money for you. This could also, for some of you, mean that you are buying a new house, moving into a new home, some big ticket item in your life. It could even be a new car that you buy with this chariot card underneath there. That's for a few of you. But it's just a brand new start in something material in your life. As I say, some big ticket item is coming in for you or a new project that is really going to bring a lot of money in for you. This could even mean that someone is giving you a lump sum of money. So really nice here. Let's take some messages now from these cards. Okay, we've got the emperor coming out again. So right on top of that emperor, this is just coming in to clarify that either this is the person that you're having these conversations with, um, competition with or something like that. But otherwise, this is just confirming that you are the leader of your own business. You are the emperor and you're bossing up to deal with this whole situation. You're a strong leader. Okay, someone in authority there. And then right next to that, we have the Empress. So you're moving into a really abundant time in your life. There is this need to nurture yourself as well. It is a really creative card as well. I mean, she is the mother of the tarot. She is the divine feminine. And she is the epitome of abundance as well. So I'm just seeing huge abundance here for you. This could be a mother and a father that you're dealing with. Otherwise, it could be a marriage, love partner, where you're both on the same level here. But with the Empress coming out, I'm just seeing that you're moving into a time of real abundance. So there is that need to nurture yourself as well. And it does indicate that some form of creative project is really going to be lucrative here. It's going to take you to this Empress mode. Then we have the Daughter of Wands in the East. So this is the Princess of Wands. This could be a Sagittarian or a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo that you are dealing with. It doesn't have to be. It can just be someone who is really excited about life. This is an explosion of creativity happening here. This could indicate a family, a father, a mother, and a daughter. So some of you could be parents out there. Um, but this is a really, as I say, excited energy. So some of you could just be really excited about something. Or this Princess of Wands could be bringing you a message that is going to make you really excited, full of energy, and ready to go, especially on top of this chariot card um, with this ace of wands next to it. So it could be that you're just really, really excited about this new project that you're taking on after this feeling of being a bit meh, after this sort of friction that's been going on in your life. So awesome. So let's see what we can get for you now from our inner child cards. Pisces, please. Oh, my word. We've got the Ace of Wands coming out again. So this is this card over here. And again, the Ace of Wands can also indicate travel. So there could be real excitement over some form of vacation or work um, thing that you have to travel for but that's just for some of you it's got the butterfly on top there so there's real transformation happening there 
It's also the blue butterfly. So for me, that's speaking of the throat chakra. And it is saying that there's going to be a huge transformation in your communication here. But again, it's just this passionate new thing that you are starting and you're implementing these creative ideas and the spark of inspiration is coming to you and you're feeling really good about this whole thing, ready to go, go, go. We have the Seeker of Swords coming out again. So this is the Page of Swords. This could mean that you are looking for information. So you could be looking for information on the internet, perhaps to do with this new project of yours, learning something new there. It can also indicate sort of petty communication, sharp communication that you need to respond to. So you need to be clear-headed. When you respond to this communication, I saw the Ace of Swords underneath there, which does indicate that clear thinking and taking decisive action. So this Seeker of Swords could be someone that you're dealing with, somebody that talks a lot as well. So you may be needing to do a lot of talking, um, which we've seen at the beginning here. Then we have the Six of Crystals coming out. So this is another lovely card. This could also indicate that a lump sum of money is coming to you. It could also indicate that people are helping each other here, you know, helping each other to get to the top of the mountain. So as I say, someone could give you a lump sum of money that's going to help you to get to the top. We did have the Ace of Coins coming out and this offer here of something material, some good news coming in. And otherwise, it could just mean either you are helping someone out or someone is helping you out there with your finances, something financial to get to the top of this mountain. Again, we have the child of crystals, which is the page of coins. So there really is some form of good news coming in for you or some financial offer that is going to be given to you. Some opportunity, as I said, in the financial realm. Awesome, awesome energy. So it's just coming through twice to confirm that this offer is really going to come in for you, this good news is going to come in for you regarding your finances. Then underneath the deck, we have the Ace, uh, the Alice of Wonderland card. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing in your favor here. It, This new project is going to bring in a lot of fortune for you. So big changes happening in your life. We can see there you've ended one cycle and with three aces here, actually four, because um, we had the ace of wands twice, you are really starting something brand new here in your life. And it's going to bring in a lot of fortune for you. Good fortune. Luck is on your side here. So this is a beautiful card to end those cards off with. A really lucky time is coming in for you. So let's see what we can get now from our Avalon cards. We've got death. So this is just saying that there is some cycle that has been completed in your life. It's completely over. You're leaving the old behind and you're starting something brand new. So... That is the four aces that we were dealing with. Ending something and brand new beginnings coming in for you. Okay, we have the goblin card. So I think this is just that knight of swords and this five of wands. These petty um, arguments that have gone on. So this might have wounded you. We did have the wounded warrior. This might have wounded your ego. but Or this is somebody that is a little bit angry and upset there and perhaps speaking these harsh words. I hope that makes sense to some of you. Then underneath the deck, we've got joy. So fantastic. Joy is as it says. Joy is coming into your life. Something is going to make you really, really happy. So it could also be that 
this argument, this petty argument that's gone on is now ending and this joy is coming into your life now. Good news is coming in and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. We've got the stag, which is all about pride and leadership. So it looks like you are a strong leader in your business or you could be dealing with a leader of some kind, as I said, a boss, um, something like that. Or you could just be the strong stag leader. Okay, letting go. So again, another card almost like the death card. So you're letting go of something here. You're letting go of all these petty arguments that are taking place. The frog. So this is all about cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. So you're letting go of all this emotional baggage. It's a good time to do a cleanse in your home to get rid of all the clutter, to make your space fresh and beautiful. Could also mean that you need to declutter your office space as well so that everything is fresh for this new beginning. But there's this need also to release any emotional baggage from perhaps these arguments that have taken place here. Okay, so doing a declutter and a cleanse. And then we have the queen coming out again. So this again is like the empress. She's all about women, fertility, feminine power, friendship, sexuality, all that type of thing. She is, as I said, the mother of the tarot creative some of you could be pregnant but that's just for a very few of you otherwise it's just that feminine power that i'm seeing here that you have as i say some of you could be mothers um, dealing with a child here or you could be dealing with a mother even so let's take an angel card now for you Books. So this could also be the, similar to the Page of Swords, that uh, getting information over the internet. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. So it could be something to do with spirituality, but it could also be something to do with a new project in your career, that you are learning something new Reward. We had this for the sign before you, I think. One of the signs. So reward. You need to reward yourself there as well for all your hard work. Some of you may be getting a reward as well. Sign from above. So look for the signs to lead you in the right direction. Okay, so that speaks for itself. You might see coins on the ground. You might see a feather, anything like that. Um, but just follow the signs to lead you in the right direction. Then we have parents. This also came out for another sign. So the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or your father. So there could really be something to do with parents here. We have the emperor and the empress. So you may have had a conflict with a father figure here, perhaps for some of you, or some form of male figure, but it looks like there's something that is going on with parents here behind the scene. Um, you might be even working in a family business for some of you. You might be parents yourselves, as I said to you, dealing with a child. Then we have peaceful. So... Peaceful is as it says, you are moving into a peaceful time, especially after all this clashing that went on, there is now going to be peace in your life. There are no more of these arguments, they're going to be sorted out and peace is going to be in your life again. So let's get a color card now for you.
just to give you one last message yeah oh wow we've got yellow joy so we had the joy card as well so this is all about laugh and play so I really do see that the situation is going to be sorted out, these petty arguments, and there's going to be some form of peace coming into your life, and it's going to make you really happy. There is also this need to let go of being serious and just have more fun. So I'll read that one from the book for you. Okay, yellow joy, laugh and play. So much of your time and energy goes into planning work, domestic chores and other people's needs. Imagine meeting your creator one day and you are asked, how was your experience on earth? And all you can say is, I cleaned my house well, or I worked hard to provide. For a long time, we have believed that heaven is a place you go to when you die. Earth is a difficult part. But what if being in a light body floating in the heavens is boring? As a light body, you know everything. You have nothing to learn. You don't need to experience. You don't need experiences to teach you anything. What if your desire to come to this planet and take on a solid shape with arms and legs and bits to play with was exactly that, to come and play? Earth is heaven for the soul, and it is time to remember that being here was supposed to be a joyful experience. Whatever feels like sacrifice and hard work in your life, let it go now. Use your time and energy to create fun activities and to help you move into a career and space that makes your heart sing. New opportunities await you once you stop the need to suffer and step into joy. So absolutely beautiful card to end your reading off with. I am going to leave it there. I really hope this has helped some of you and I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help my channel to grow and I will hopefully see you all again in the next one. Bye.